I've owned a Tesla TSLA since 2018 and am a huge fan of the car. My background is in self-driving cars. In addition to writing about them for 15 years, I've worked for and advised a wide variety of companies including Waymo, Zoox, Cruise, Starship, Giant Car OEMs and many others. So naturally been very interested in both autopilot and the promised future system Tesla calls full self-driving. Tesla has released a prototype version of that system out to some Tesla owners, and I finally got it recently. I've watched many videos of it in action, some good, some bad, and wanted to see it for myself. So here is my review, including a video of a sample drive with sadly, too many mistakes. The text of the video review is below, so if you read this text you can skip to the second chapter of the video, about 5 minutes in, to see the sample ride. I have great respect and admiration for Elon Musk, so sorry to say this but. It's terrible. I mean really bad. After all those videos I didn't expect a lot, but I expected more than this. My first drive home after activating it was frightening. You're going to see the second loop I did, one around Apple's Apple headquarters in Cupertino, California. I've now driven this loop a dozen times with the system on, and each drive is different, with a different pattern of errors, several of them serious. This is not a complex set of roads. It's typical Silicon Valley suburbia, the same valley where Tesla's HQ and most of its developers are. There's a fast arterial and some afternoon traffic, but aside from the straight sections, Terry's no turn or other complexity on the route it didn't screw up at least once in my loops. Self-driving is a very different problem from driver assist, such as we find in autopilot, a product I enjoy using. Some think it's just a difference of degree, but more think they are two different things. Even if, like Tesla, you think you just keep improving driver assist until you have self-driving, this system just has so far to go. One thing that's not apparent in this video and in others is how jerky the ride is. Rides are full of sudden accelerations and braking and jerky turns which would quickly get you fired as a chauffeur. Those don't cause safety issues, in fact they are no W because of safety, but they show the roughness of the product. It's particularly bad when making unprotected turns. It starts timid, as it should, then advances and jerks when it decides to be timid again. While this will get fixed in time, these rough edges show just how immature the product is today. Waymo's self-driving cars have now gone probably 8 million miles in Arizona without every being at fault in an accident. 